I recently found myself reading Charlie Munger's Poor Charlie's Almanac, and it ended up being one of my favourite reads in a while. It included a translated quote from 19th century mathematician Carl Yukorbi, which was, invert, always invert. And it was this exact mindset that ended up solving a state management problem I had in my application recently. The essence of this strategy involves flipping the problem on its head, and that may reveal different ways to think about the problem or different ways to approach it. An example given is that of proofs by contradiction in mathematics. When trying to prove that the square root of 2 is irrational, we can invert the problem and sort of approach it backwards. We can assume that the square root of 2 is rational and then show that that is impossible. If we can prove that it is impossible for the square root of 2 to be rational, then we have also proved that it is irrational. This can be useful in a range of disciplines outside of mathematical proofs, but let's see how this thinking helped me in a programming context to solve my state management problem. First, we'll need some context on how I go about structuring my applications. I have a full video on this approach, so I'll link to that if you are interested, but there are just a few important things to know for the sake of this video. I generally have a folder for each of the features in my application. Inside of these feature folders, there will be a file for the main feature component and three additional folders, data access, UI, and utils. The data access folder contains any data fetching or state management stuff. The UI folder contains additional dumb components the feature uses, and utils contains things like helper functions. So this is where my problem begins. I have this dashboard feature, and in the data access folder, I have a state service that manages the state for this feature. Since this service is contained within this dashboard feature, it should not be shared with any other feature in the application, and it is only provided specifically to this dashboard component feature through Angular's dependency injection system. If I wanted to share this state service with other features, then it would live in the shared folder and it would use Angular's dependency injection system to provide that service globally. But the problem occurred when I wanted to create this word service, which would be shared globally, but this word service needed to use a small part of the state from the dashboard state service. Thinking through this problem in a normal, that is to say non-inverted way, I came to two obvious solutions. One, move the dashboard state service to the shared folder and provide it globally. Or two, keep the dashboard state service where it is since its primary purpose is still to manage the state of this feature, but provide it globally from that folder so that the word service can still access the state it needs. Neither of these solutions are particularly good. The first option breaks co-location of related code and the second disregards rules of the architecture I'm using. The problem I am facing here is that word service has a dependency on the dashboard state service. But what if we invert this problem? What if we flip the dependency and see what things look like if the dashboard state service has a dependency on the word service instead? We take the state that the word service needs out of the dashboard state service and have it live in the word service instead. The dashboard state service can then depend on and inject the word service to access that state, which is fine because word service is shared globally. This just immediately fixes the problem in a clean way. Now the dashboard state service remains entirely private and local to the dashboard feature, and the word service has access to all of the state it needs. The solution is almost blindingly obvious in hindsight, and I think that highlights the power of this always invert concept. We can get stuck in particular ways of thinking and it can help us see problems from a totally different perspective. If you like this video, consider inversing the state of the like or subscribe button before you go and I hope to see you back here for the next one.